What's up? It's Michael Bumpus with Seattle Sport. The Seahawks go down to Arizona and get the win 31 to 21. And now we're going to talk about the game changing plays. There was a moment in this game where I thought this team was going to be tested. How are they going to respond? It all starts with Geno's first big mistake of the season. It was a pick six to Zayvon Collins. So we're going to break that down first. Then we're going to talk about the plays after that that showed me the resilience of this team. All right, we'll look at the screen right here. This first play is the pick six by Zayvon Collins. He is this guy right here on the edge. What he is going to do, he's going to feel the flow of our running back. Our running back, Ken Walker, is going to swing to the right right here. All right, we're going to have Uncle Will Disley flow this way, and then the line is going to step to their right. All right, what we're going to do is Gino's going to drop back, and he's going to look at the safety and try to hold him there, but he's going to swing it over to Ken Walker, and Xavier just does a great job. He's going to rush the end right here, bam, rush the edge of the scrimmage, and then read the eyes and filter out, pick six, touchdown, a momentous play during this game. How are these teams going to respond after this? Okay, here's a closer look at this play. You see Zayvon Collins right there. He's engaged with Abe Lucas. You see our running back, Ken Walker, swinging to the right right there. Genos has his eyes down the field, trying to hold safety. He's trying to make it look like he's going down the field, but he's going to try to dump it over to Ken Walker. Zayvon makes a play. Okay, here's the play right here. Here's the end result right here. We got the ball in the air right there. We got Zayvon. He is now leaked over to Ken Walker, our running back. He's going to catch that thing. He's going to take it back. This makes the score 14 to 10. Arizona Cardinals. In my mind right now, I'm thinking, how is this team going to respond? What is Geno going to do? I love the response. I love the way this team handled the situation. Let's take a look at it. All right, this is the drive following the interception. These guys go 13 plays, 75 yards, a great response. But also, this team, the Hawks, were 10 for 15 on third downs. At one point, they converted on seven consecutive third downs. If you want to win ball games, you want to bounce back, you got to be big on third. It's third and 12 right now. Let's talk about what we're seeing. First, let's focus on the defense. Again, all my videos, you have to find the safety to see what you're doing. You have this corner up top. He's dropping into a deep zone. This is going to be our flat defender right there. We got a deep zone right here. The safety to the bottom of your screen is going to creep up kind of like a robber look, right? He's taking care of the curl, that area right there. We have our nickel guy right here. He's going to take care of the flats, and then we're hooking up in the middle right there with our linebacker. Here's what the Seahawks are doing on their end. Let's talk about the bottom of the screen right here, all right? First, we're going to have a deep type of outlook right there by DK. We're going to have D. Eskridge is going to work the middle of the field, boom, split, and then we have Noah Fant right here at the bottom, but the play is going up top to Tyler Lockett. Let's focus on that. All right, we have this flat defender right here that I highlighted, bam. He is going to respond directly to the running back. The running back is going to leak out to the flat. Boom. He's going to go with him, creating a big window. All right. Now let's look at this corner right here. Like I said, he has that deep zone, right? He's making sure nothing gets behind him. What's going to happen is Tyler Lockett, he knows the down and distance. It is third and 12. You need to get at least 13 or 14 yards. That's what he does. He allows this route to work for him, pulling that outside linebacker out he gets inside gets his depth bam and there's a nice little pocket right there we talk about trust in this offense Gino trusts that Tyler Lockett is going to get his depth Tyler Lockett trusts that Gino is going to get him the football on time and that's exactly what happens here okay this is halfway into the play right there I talk about the running back bam hitting the flats pulling guys with him he's got this guy's attention he's going to leak there a little bit Corner up top, getting deep right there. The safety is getting deep as well, all right? So now Tyler Lockett has to find the pocket, the space in between this trio, this triangle right here, right? He does exactly that. Gets the depth, bam, curls it in. That's the first down marker right there. He has to make sure he gets enough depth. He gets the depth, Geno fires a football in there. Tyler Lockett gets the first down and a penalty. You got a defensive receiver penalty there. All right, here's the near end result of this play right here. I talked about the running back getting to the flats. At this point, that flat defender realizes what's going on. He's dropping, all right? He's dropping right there. Also, here's the pocket that we're looking for. Tyler Lockett has to get the depth and sit in that pocket. Now, he doesn't do a great job sitting in that pocket, but he does enough because this guy comes across, bam, hits him in the head. They get the first down and a penalty. The ball is already gone. Geno trusts that Tyler Lock is going to get to the right spot, and Tyler Lock can trust that Geno's going to hit him with the rock. Beautiful play right there. These guys go 13 plays, 75 yards. If they do not pick up this third and 12, who knows what happens? All right, let's talk about the play that ends this long drive, 75 yards, 13 plays. Okay, here's what we got. 
Defense, we got man there. He's gonna run with DK. We got man, that guy belongs to number 16. We got man, D. Eskridge is playing off of that guy right there. All right, here's what's gonna go down. DK has started off at the top of this formation. Now he's motioned in. What he's gonna do is a nice little deep cross right here, a diagonal, trying to see what these safeties are gonna do. If this guy splits that way, and this guy splits that way, who oh, he's on title lock it, you could get a play there, but this guy ends up running with DK and they bracket him, all right? So now let's look at what D. Eskridge is doing. D. Eskridge has the speed out. Bam, he's gonna pull this guy with him. As man on man, he gets that way. So now, Tyrell Lockett is running his route off of the safety. He's one-on-one -on -one with Buda Baker. He's gonna get on Buda Baker, go to the corner, and bam, snap it down and sit. Again, watch how this defense expands, right? D. Eskridge takes care of this guy, send, sends him that way. DK pulls two guys with him. You get a one-on-one -on -one with the safety. I love what happens here, a six-yard touchdown to Tyrell Lockett. All right, we talked about D. Eskridge. He pulls this guy with him. He's manned up with him, all right? We got that corner who ran with DK. DK also is pulling this backer with him. Safety on the backside is focused on no offense. You've created a big space for Tyler Lockett to work. Typically, when Tyler Lockett hits the corner in the end zone, he's getting to the back pylon. That's not what happens here. He hitches it up. He catches the touchdown. They cap off a long drive. Great response by this offense. All these plays are connected. Unfortunately, the game-changing plays start with Geno Smith throwing a pick six, a big mistake. I'm wondering how is he gonna respond? You know what the offense does? They go 13 plays, 75 yards, put points on the board, boom, we're good to go. They now are up three points, that's one score. But you need your defense to come through for you so you can apply more pressure on offense. What do they do? Six plays, boom, Arizona Cardinals, put it on the foot. We don't have that here, but after this, the uh, Seahawks go 13 plays, 81 yards, and extend their lead. This moment was important in the game for the Seahawks. Could they respond? They did exactly that. Those were your game changer moments.